Hi, I am Nick Lee, the President of Atheist Alliance of America. We are one of the national sponsors of the upcoming Reason Rally in Washington, D.C. on March 24th. I want to urge you to begin making your plans now to be there for this major event. The Reason Rally will bring together thousands of atheists, agnostics, freethinkers, humanists, and other non-believers in a demonstration of the strength of our convictions. This will be a festival of free thought and a celebration of our growing presence in this country. We intend to draw attention to our naturalistic worldview and to show that we are good citizens and worthy of respect. For far too long, non-theists in the United States have been reluctant to speak out because of the pervasive atmosphere of religion in this country. Many non-believers are the only ones in their family or social group to doubt the existence of God. And some have been kicked out of their family or social group when their views became known. That's a big price to pay, although at least they're not burning us at the stake anymore. But we deserve better treatment. We deserve a place at the public table. We deserve a voice in the public discourse. Christopher Hitchens has said, religion poisons everything, and historically, organized religion has many crimes to answer for. But I am concerned with the current influence of religion on American culture and politics. I am concerned about the discrimination against people who do not believe in God. I am concerned about the assumption that if you don't believe in a supernatural being in America, you are not a good person nor a true patriot. I am concerned that there is a movement in America to replace reason and science with the teaching of myth and superstition in our schools. People practicing private faith is of no concern to me, but we have allowed religious groups to intrude on our public policies and to impose their irrational, anti-scientific worldview on everyone else. As many as 50 million Americans do not believe in a God, and yet only one out of 535 members of Congress dares to admit that he does not. That is a measure of the imbalance of power. But we can begin to correct that by coming together in a public show of force. It's often said that the weakness of the non-believing community is that we are too fragmented. And it is true that there is a wide spectrum of non-believers as evidenced by the number of national sponsors of the Reason Rally. You will see atheists, agnostics, humanists, secular students, military atheists, freethinkers, and secular Jews. But we all share a worldview based on science and reason. We share a concern for the human condition, here and now, and not in the by and by. We share a conviction that religion and superstition should not be the guiding force in our public policy. If you share these values, I hope you will add your voice to this chorus of affirmation of the principles of enlightened thinking by joining us on the Mall in D.C. on March 24th. The Reason Rally will include speeches by internationally known figures in the movement, such as Richard Dawkins, P.Z. Myers, Taslima Nazreen, James Randi, and Greta Christina. There will be performances by comedians and musicians. And the rally provides an opportunity for you to meet up with people of a like mind and to build lasting friendships. Best of all, the Reason Rally will be a launching pad for a new era for the non-theist movement. We hope it will embolden non-believers who have not been active in the movement or who have not been public with their views. And if you are one of these, think of your Reason Rally as your coming out party. The Atheist Alliance is committed to encouraging grassroots political activism at the local level. This is the way we can make our voices heard. This is the way we can let others know that there is an alternative worldview. This is a way that we can begin to solve our civic problems rationally rather than ideologically. The Reason Rally is a way to do this on the national scene. We want to show the nation, and especially the politicians in D.C., that we are a voting bloc to contend with, and that we will not bow our heads to religious dogma, nor pay for the privileges that religious organizations have carved out for themselves. And we need you to be there to lend your voice to the call for reason and science and to show the variety of backgrounds and cultures that subscribe to the non-theist movement. And we need you to be there to lend your voice to the call for reason and science and to show the variety of backgrounds and cultures that subscribe to the non-theist movement. 
The Reason Rally is free and open to everyone, no matter where your ideas fall on the spectrum of non-believers, and whether or not you are a member of one of the supporting organizations. Several area hotels have agreed to offer special rates for rally attendees, and rally organizers are working on setting up group bus transportation from nearby states to minimize the cost of attendance. In addition, many other groups are arranging for buses to the rally from states farther away. For those of you who will be flying to the rally, Delta Airline is granting a 5% discount on airfare. I will be there along with many members of Atheist Alliance and all the other sponsoring organizations to show the nation that our movement is alive and well and growing. Your attendance at the rally is needed to help fill them all with non-believers on that day. We will be a positive voice for atheism by emphasizing the things we have in common and the things that we support, rather than the things that we are against. This will be an event of a lifetime, and you will be proud of your participation in it, so don't miss the Reason Rally on March 24th. Tell them Nick Lee sent you.